Um, this is Chinedu, and welcome to my very first video of Chinedu's Bible Clips. Um, really, the purpose of uh, this video and the videos that I'll be doing in the future is basically to help stir my brothers and sisters unto good works. Like the Bible says that we should stir and provoke one another unto good works. And as iron sharpeneth iron. Uh, my first topic today is why we need to detoxify our lives. And um, this is, I believe, is such an important topic lately because uh, we have come to the point of having overcrowded lives. Lives that we are so busy doing so many things and yet we are so unproductive. And the result of it is no peace, no real long-lasting peace and joy and fruitfulness in our lives. You know, if you think about Psalm 1, brings me brings my attention to Psalm 1 that, you know, blessed is a man who walks uh, not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sees in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. The Bible says that he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bears its fruit at its, at its season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And it goes on to say that the ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. And in summary of that whole psalm is that when we meditate on the word of God, we bear fruit, fruit that lasts. And so uh, my purpose today is to encourage us to go back to the word of God. And the reason why we need to detoxify um, our lives is that so that we can be productive and fruitful. So that we can live the life that God has called us to. So, brings me to a quote by uh, D.L. Moody. He said that, you know, and I'll quote him exactly. He says that our greatest fear should not be of failure, but of succeeding at something that doesn't really matter. Mm, that is so deep, y'all. <laughs> that just caught my attention. I don't know about you, but I do not want to succeed at something that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Because to me, that is a wasted life. That is a total waste of life. And when we look at the Word of God, you know, God's priorities and God's agenda should be ours. The reason why we need to detoxify our lives is so that we can live our divine design. And I believe that God has a purpose for each and every one of us. And we cannot find it unless we seek him. So we need to get rid of the toxins and the things in our lives that are just choking the life out of us. So first of all, I guess let's define what it means to detox. You know, the dictionary says to detox is to get rid of toxic or unhealthy substances. You know, although that is mainly a reference to the body, but we can uh, really apply that to our lives because we're so busy lately. So let's just take a quick assessment, see if this is applicable to you. You know, some of the questions we should ask ourselves are some of these things. The uh, question is, is my life too busy? Do I have a, a cluttered life that is choking <laughs> the true life out of me? So questions to ask ourselves, am I very, very busy and yet unproductive? Like at the end of the day, do I feel guilty because I have this long list that did not get done and I'm just like feeling, oh my gosh you know, just disappointed. And then that's just an ongoing thing. Secondly, do you spend quality time with your family? The, th the people that you love, the people that really matter, do you really um, find your time, find yourself spending quality time with those people? Or are you too busy? Uh, as a mom, and a third question to ask yourself, do my children pull on my skirt as I'm walking out the door, you know, because they need my attention because I haven't given them a, enough of my attention? You know, another question to ask yourself, do I get enough sleep? You know, I'm not saying not, be, not because of medical reasons, but am I just not getting enough sleep because I'm too busy by the end of the day, I end up going to bed at 2 a.m. in the morning and then waking up really early. Not getting enough sleep. Your life is too busy. And then another question to ask yourself, you know, not only do I make people time for people uh, that I love, do I, do I value people? Do I, my schedule is just so tight that... If I miss 15 minutes just having a conversation with someone, will that just totally throw me off? <laughs> also, your health. How's your health? When was the last time you went to a doctor? When was the last time you had a routine visit? Because we know that, you know, as we get stressed, chronic stress leads to illness. It can contribute to illness. Because your body organs and your body system begin to malfunction. It can lead to a lot of uh, medical problems. 
So some of those things, do I eat on the run? Okay, I'm guilty. Yes, because you're too busy. <laughs> so are you always in a hurry? Are you short tempered? Like, you know, if your child just coughs, you're like, ah! you know, but they just, they were just, they just did a normal thing that a child would do, but you're so stressed that it just bugs you. So <laughs> these are things that, you know, we need to assess ourselves. How is my life? Is it so overcluttered that I don't even have time to breathe or to live the kind of life that God has called us to do? Peaceful life. A life where you have rest of the soul. That's what's missing today. Rest of the soul. You know, I think the bad news is that nothing is going to change in your life until you make a decision to change. It's not going to happen. A decision to change things will change so the choice is yours the choice is mine and we can do it we can do it it all comes down to having peace of mind and I believe we all want that why do we need to detoxify our lives so we can have peace of mind and I know that that's the will of the Lord for us the scripture says Jesus says my yoke is easy and my burden is light come unto me all ye that labor on a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest. That sounds really good. That can only be given by God. That can only be given by Jesus. And that is Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. When you come to Jesus, he will give you rest. So make the decision today. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.